this jack has the fast rise feature, which uh, includes two pump pistons, which raises the lift arm to the load very fast. Uh, the pump pistons uh, in this jack are uh, covered by what we call dust shields. These dust shields prevent any contaminants from getting into the hydraulic system. You will also notice that these pump pistons are positioned at an angle. This enables you to get a more effective pump stroke when the jack is all the way underneath the vehicle. As you can see here, with little or no effort to pump three and a half ton capacity. Also, um, you'll notice that there's a bumper pad on the handle that if I hit the bumper, I'm, I'm actually protecting the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle's off the ground right now. Also, there is a protective, protective rubber pad on the saddle, uh, which protects the undercar parts that you're actually lifting. Um, releasing the load can be done slowly or fast, however you want to do it. Bringing the uh, lift arm all the way down and removing the jack from underneath the vehicle. Uh, oftentimes in uh, transportation or storage or handling, the jack may be moved on its side or upside down, which means that air can get trapped in the hydraulic system. When air is trapped in the hydraulic system, you will not get a full incremental pump stroke. And so when you pump the handle down, the jack will only go up partial way. The way to bleed air out of the, uh, out of the jack is to take a hold of the handle, turn it all the way to the right until it stops, and then back it up two complete revolutions or turns to the left and then pump the jack with a full incremental pump stroke about 10 or 15 times. This will remove all the air from the hydraulic system and put it back into the reservoir. You can then come up after the 10 or 15 times, close the, the release valve by turning the handle all the way to the right till it stops and then pump normally. This is how to purge air from the hydraulic system. Um, one of the things that you would we should do is go ahead and lubricate the lift arm pivot pin. There's a zerk fitting right here on the lift arm and you can pump grease into this until such time as you see grease escaping from both sides of the lift arm. After that's done, you can go ahead and remove the front two wheels and lubricate the axles. After that, put the wheels back on. Secondly, you can go ahead, there's bearings in the, underneath the uh, caster wheels, or under the caster wheel bracket. You can lubricate those bearings by squeezing grease inside the bearings. The next place of lubrication would be back here uh, on these rollers where, that make contact with the pump plungers. It would be good to put grease around them. Also in the area of the release valve that's down in here, that's a universal joint, putting grease around that. The last place of lubrication would have to do with the handle base here, where you would remove the handle, take some grease and put it on the inside surface of the receiver, the handle receiver, put the handle back in, and go ahead and, and lock the handle in by turning the screw. This would be the maintenance procedure that, um, that should take place 